Hi, my name is Jason from So The Land, and in today's video, we're helping our friends Ben and Meg butcher their hog. Some of the things that we show you guys on our YouTube channel is really just about our story and our journey moving out here and wanting to start this homestead life. And in today's video is just one of those videos that this is our life. This is the life that we're living now, and this video is an important part of our story. Ducks, good morning. All right, how's everyone doing this morning? We got some snow yesterday. Probably only an inch of snow, and this is the most snow we've had all year. Ducks, how you doing ducks? Chickens, brace, good morning. What are you guys doing in here? Keeping warm? When it's cold outside, the chickens love to hang out in here, but then the ducks, the ducks like to party. Penelope! <laughs> You're sledding already? Yeah, it's really fun. I don't know. This, there's not even that much snow. <laughs> I know. Look at that. You guys getting along? Everyone's in here. Whole Foods, you're all puffed up. Hey, the haulers have a bunch of Bernices. Bernice, Bernice. All right, so we made it at the haulers house and we're gonna go butcher, butcher a pig today. Yeah, and where's the snow? <laughs> I know, we, we had all the snow at our house and there's no snow here. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, we have lots your house, apparently. I know. Yeah. We brought our snow gear. I brought like all Penelope's snow stuff and I was like, well, maybe you could go sledding when you get there. Right? Yeah, no. And, like, we drove out, we're like, oh, I know, no it was snow. hilarious. They've been hyping it and hyping it and hyping it and then it rained. All well, we got, we got a little bit of snow. Yeah, like, it's it. not enough for her. She went sledding anyway, but it yeah. wasn't enough to like fully, fully sled. Right. You guys just getting started? No, we've been out here since daybreak. <laughs> Okay. A wash pot never boils. Oh man. Like way. I don't know why I took it this way. But... So Ben, what's what's on the agenda for today? It's all about growing your own food and stuff like that. Yes. But the act that gets you there. Yes, so I agree. It's, it's my least favorite part. Yeah, I don't think no one likes doing this. But... Yeah, I, if someone likes the killing part. Yeah. Nah, there's something wrong there. But... Something wrong there. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So what are we doing? Um, so we're scalding. So we're gonna scald and scrape. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna hang it for a couple days. So we've okay. got someone with a freezer. So we're gonna basically just kill, drag it up here, dip it, scrape it, gut it, uh, right. cut it in half, and then it goes and, then hang and hangs. It. But, yeah, I'm interested to see this part because I've done the the processing the processing part, but not the this part. <laughs> I wish we were doing more than one, but it's just one today. Right. So and you you've done this plenty of times, right? This or will be how many times? Like number ten. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. My first pig was about a year ago. That's I'm, pretty I'm, good though. Like not a, not a not a pro or right. anything. But. Right. But you've done it. You know the process. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I think we have more experience here. A couple of guys here. This is what they do. And it's like okay, all right. right. Yeah. We've got no, plenty of backup. It's good when we have just a bunch of people doing it. I yeah. think. It goes fast. All right. All right. My so tell me your names. I'm Haley. Josh. Haley and Josh. And um, where are you guys from? M uh, McDowell County, North Carolina, Western North Carolina. So what are you guys doing here? <laughs> we're gonna help scrape a hog. <laughs> yeah. And we're so, gonna buy piglets. Oh, you are? Yeah. I mean, you've done this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done it yeah. plenty of times. And you guys also have your own YouTube channel? Yep. What, what's yep. the channel's name? Uh, Mountain Heritage Homestead. That's what, and what do you guys do there? Uh, we're showing a lot of like the same that Ben and Megan are doing here. We're basically starting from scratch and building everything over. Um, sold our house last year. and. Right. Starting over. We, yeah. We've got chickens and goats right now. Uh, we're getting piglets today, so we'll have hogs here this afternoon on, on the harm's fed. And That's great. And then we're looking at getting some cows, too. And you guys are filming, too, today? Yeah. Yep. That's great. <laughs> we're learning how to film with other people. <laughs> I know. It, it takes a little practice. Yeah. But, yeah. But oh, yeah. You got to get in there. <laughs> What's it need to be at? About 100, 150 to 180. How much is it? 120. We're almost there. We're cooking. We're getting. Uh. 
So we're just waiting to uh, boil up some of this water and then uh, we're gonna dip the pig into the pot to scald the hair off of it and then we gotta scrape the hair off. You know, the more that I'm around this stuff, I think it's just the better for me. I didn't grow up around hunting. I don't think I even knew anyone who hunted or butchered their own deer or anything like that, so this is all kind of new for me. Just shot the, the pig and these guys they're not even bothered by it at all they're just eating away I'm not sure much of a help I am, uh, be, not having done it before, and really I just wanted to just to see the process and just to be more familiar with the process. I think is important, and for us, you know, if we're gonna live this lifestyle, this is part of it. This is part of the life. So that hog ended up weighing about 220, and they're just weighing it out before they actually scald it and drop it into the water. You know, sometimes it's hard to take an animal's life, but we're also knowing where our food comes from. Sure. Give it a good, a good amount of pressure and you'll peel off that layer of skin that the hair's in. And just mark it till it comes out. Is it like shaving a beard? Something like that. Kind of. <laughs> because you're trying not to break the skin, right? Right. Did you know Ben made these tools? Yeah. That's so cool, That's huh? Awesome. Nice. I'm going to go over here and help this lady. Get, get you about half a pot. Bring it over here and pour it on the area they want to work on. Slow, not fast. And the, the simplicity of wanting to do this homesteading life is also wanting to be more connected with our food. And we're also trying to relearn how to do this stuff, how to grow our own food, how to raise animals in a good way. And just having the opportunity to do that is everything. So after this, now what we're doing? So now she's gonna go get hung up in a freezer and rest until probably tomorrow yeah. in the cooler, and then we'll uh, go chop her up, butcher her up, butcher yeah. her up. All right, that's it. Yeah. Definitely takes longer to boil water than it does to do a pig. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How long did that water take? Since seven this morning? Yeah. Seven. What time is it now? Four hours of boiling the water. Yeah, it's two o'clock. And what what did this take? Maybe an hour? Maybe an hour? Maybe an hour? Yeah. Not long. I mean it was actually pretty easy. Head start on it, but it still work. Yeah, it did. I was really surprised. It went quick. Right. I think the hardest thing is like yeah, the wind Living, the lifting the heavy yeah, pigs. Like, that's where we know. Have yeah, having this bobcat or a tractor is, I think, key. Yeah. I think that helps out a ton. But. How are you doing, Penelope? Good. What are you doing? You playing? Yeah. Mm. Are we running around all day? I'm sweating. Are you sweating? No, I'm still sharing. I feel how cold my hands So, if you don't know Ben and Meg's story, they're fellow Californians just like us that uh, left California. Uh, to live this homestead life. I'll leave their link down to their YouTube channel so you can check that out. But I appreciate you guys watching 
and we'll see you guys next time. If you told me two years ago, I'm gonna be on a piece of property <laughs> processing a pig. Yeah. I wouldn't have believed you. That's the first pig you did it yourself? Yeah. This start is, to finish? This is our first start to finish. I mean, I had help. A lot oh, yeah. of help this time. Oh well, yeah, but on your property. This is the first, like on our property, raised meat. It's it, awesome, man. It feels good. It's awesome. And afterwards, we had some food, had a little potluck, and that was the day. <laughs>